I have a question for you. Which one of these two articles you are much more willing to read? The first one or the second one? If you prefer the second article, then you are not alone. Pretty much everybody on the internet does not read an article, but rather scan the page and will only stop if they've spotted something interesting or break the pattern. So in this video, I'm going to show you the perfect AI prompt that I used to create an article that's so good both search engines and humans would appreciate it. So let's dive right into it. Alright, before we start, I want to show you this article that has been generated using ChatGPT and the prompt that I'm using is something like this. Generate an article draft about how to maintain e-bike battery. So this is quite a simple prompt and I gotta say the result is kind of decent but we can actually get something a little better than this because AI can create some elements that will make your content a lot more dynamic especially if you're giving it the right prompt. So let's open a new chat window and let's craft our prompt so the first thing you need to do is to add a context to that prompt i'm going to just copy this line from my prompt the context is going to be pretend as someone that's been using e-bikes for more than three years and this is very important you want to tell what kind of expertise or experience you have and this would affect the wording and overall the feeling of the article and after that, let's tell the AI what article that you want it to create. Let me copy this part again and let's paste it here. Right, generate a 1200 word SEO friendly article draft about how to maintain an e-bike battery or whatever title or topic that you want the AI to create. The 1200 word here is quite important because if you don't specify the amount of word of the article, then the AI will usually give you either very short or very long article. First Personally, I think 1200 word is kinda in the middle ground. It's not too short, but also not too long. And then after that, here I add SEO friendly article, meaning that the AI will try to follow the SEO principles for this article. Let's move on to the next part. Next part is going to be about the audience. Let me copy this first and let's paste it. The target audience is people who just bought an e-bike for the first time. This is still somewhat related to the background. The background that I mentioned here is I have the experience as someone that has been using e-bike for more than three years, meaning that I have some degree of expertise or knowledge about this subject. However, I also want to emphasize that the audience here is just bought an e-bike for the first time and therefore you want to tell the AI that the article does not have to be overly complicated or overly technical. I think the next thing that you have to add is the writing tone of the article. So let's add this. Use a conversational human-like tone. You can create an article that is sarcastic, humorous, informal, formal, personal, and there are many others. For me, conversational works the best because the AI will use vocabulary or the type of phrases that most people have heard on a daily conversation, and therefore it's going to be much more engaging and relatable. But feel free to choose whatever tone you want for your article. Just make sure that it aligns with your target audience. Audience. I'm adding this prompt that says make sure the article is informative and engaging with no fluff. This will make sure that the article is going to answer the reader's question right away. This line is essential especially if you want to make an article that is very long. One thing that humans would do when writing an article is some degree of inconsistency. So one paragraph would have two sentences, the next paragraph could have three sentences, and then the fourth paragraph might only have one sentence and the next paragraph will only just a few words so you want to replicate these dynamic sentences with your ai article add this prompt to your existing prompt it says vary the length of sentences to make the content more dynamic remember people do not read they just scan your article and therefore you want to break the pattern as much as you can speaking about that there are few elements that you want to sprinkle to your article so your article is not going to look like a heavy Heading followed by another paragraph. I'm going to add this part to this prompt. Sprinkle with bold text, bullet points, and info tables to make the article easier to read. And personally, bullet points are just easier to read compared to a simple paragraph. So make sure you have that in your article. 
all right the next thing to do is of course we have to add some key takeaways and faq section to our article fortunately the prompt is quite simple add three to five short key takeaways at the very beginning okay and then add an faq section at the very end the key takeaways at the beginning is very important because it is giving the reader a reason to stay on your page and read the rest of the content finally there is one more element that recently i started using on a lot of my articles if you look back at this article that i have created before using this very simple prompt you can see that the headings are quite generic there's nothing wrong with these headings but given that the headings are the one element that usually will catch your reader's attention then you want to make sure that the element or the headings are intriguing and therefore will invite your reader to read the rest of the content so that's why i'm going to add this prompt to my existing prompt use headings that create intrigue right now we have this prompt that is more or less done you can add some adjustments if you want but this is the prompt that i'm going to use to create an article click the enter button and see what it's going to create all right this is the article that it generates using our new prompt and let's put it into a wordpress page and also i will copy this article as well and see how they are going to look like on our website all right we have these two articles on a wordpress page this is the first article with a very simple prompt and this is the second article with a longer more descriptive prompt let's see the first article first and um, i think it looks okay just remember that i haven't changed anything here so this is still original all right so let's see the second article okay everything looks good and i personally think that it uses quite a lot of the points it's fine and i think that's just a lot better than using a simple paragraph right so i could be biased here but i think the second article is a bit better than the first one by the way i stumbled upon on a reddit page here that gives me quite a fairly long prompt and i want to see if i actually can get a much better result using this very long prompt i'm going to copy this prompt and let's paste it to chat gpt click enter and see what kind of article it will generate using this very long prompt all right we have this article with the prompt that i got from this credit page and i gotta say this is kind of similar to the simple prompt that i've shown you earlier but i think i know the reason of why this article from a very long prompt is kind of similar to this article with a very short prompt i noticed that this prompt is a bit redundant one example is it says something like uh, to pretend as someone that is proficient in SEO writing but it also mentioned to include h1 h2 h3 and many others headings like this is part of SEO writing so when you say something like SEO writing then you don't have to include this in your prompt and what I learned is that when you craft a prompt that is too long usually some element or some aspects may be ignored completely by the AI so do not make a prompt that is too short but also make sure your prompt is not too long anyway after you got this ai article the next thing you need to do is to humanize it so check out this video where i show you how to really humanize an ai article that real humans would enjoy and i'll see you in that video